Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we do have severe weather for today, and it will carry into tomorrow as well. Now, everybody that's in all this red, you are an excessive heat advisory. An excessive heat watch over here in the Northwest, chances to get up to 100 degrees heat index. And you have excessive heat warning in this pink right here for Oklahoma. So all the advisories has a chance to get a heat index from 100 to 105 plus for today. Plus, all this blue is all flash flood watch that you need to watch out for. We're going to be training storms over here in the southwest for the next few days. Matter of fact, all the precipitation is going to come this way and train around this high pressure and just bring heavy rainfall for the next few days in this direction. Now, today has grown with an enhanced level right here for intercoastal northeast. And pretty much what you have is you have a warm front here and a cold front here. And then a warm front is going to the northeast. And the cold front is coming down to the southeast. And that would leave this whole pocket right here. Big chances for a strong warm up and a lot of severe weather for today. So I'm going to go through everything and let you know what you can expect. Just remember day two for tomorrow. You do have a slight risk as well. You just don't have that enhanced level because we have all the winds for the intercoastal northeast for today. Now this storm is going to be a mainly big wind event as it was for yesterday, but there is a chances for a tornado or two. I will go through that for you. So we had over 300 wind damage reports from this system from yesterday. It's not showing any tornadoes, but we did have two tornadoes in northern Illinois and it were EF zeros, both of them, but it did cause some damage. Now this also is knocking out a lot of power. You can see everybody in the yellow, at least 10,000. They don't have Ohio, but it's right below 10,000. A lot of people are losing a lot of power and mainly it's Michigan. As I refresh, you can see how Michigan is just still in the orange. It was in the red, it gotten better, but not yet 77, almost 78,000 people without power. And this is gonna transfer over to the northeast a lot of damage and winds coming your way as well now it's also going to bring the heat for today so as you go to your hottest point of your day around 3 and 4 p.m you can see you have some very hot temperatures popping and you can see clearly when you look at the central u.s that you have some very hot temperatures coming for today but when you go to the heat index you can see why you in the heat advisories that you have a over 100 degree heat index covering a lot of the area. It is covering the west as well. The west has a lot of hot temperatures for today, especially the southwest. But you have chances to get up into the 90s and maybe 100 for the northwest for today. It does show that you do have that threat, but it's not as strong as the central of the U.S. They have the worst of the heat indices that's gonna hit for the Ohio Valley for today. And as it goes for tomorrow, it's gonna to grow again for the Northeast. But you can see as you go through the afternoon, there's a big area that has very hot heat indices, over 100, that's why you are in a heat advisory. But there is a little bit of a cool down as we go in through tonight. A lot of people will be in their 50s. Then this will switch for the Northeast for tomorrow as the heat builds right back up for the coast of the Northeast over 100 degree heat in seas and the cool front that's pushing these storms will come right back into the northeast as well so it will be a couple days of cooler weather mostly in northern u.s but everybody else will feel these very hot temperatures as this passes by bringing these storms and damaging winds but it's not just stretching for the northeast because you can see in the south for tomorrow you have some very strong heat indices and as well as tuesday when a storm comes across ohio valley again it is going to bring the hot temperatures with the hot heat indices and your main culprit is going to be this cold front so as you look a little higher up at 850 millibar level your lower level you can see that this cold front comes in real good for tonight but it's also what's creating your severe weather for the Ohio Valley then for tomorrow is going to dip down again and bring you severe weather for the Northeast. So these two dips of this cold front is what's going to bring y'all some cooler temperatures, but it's also what's creating all of your severe weather. So for today, you will have thunderstorms in all of this green and it has been enhanced up because of your winds for the intercoastal Northeast with your chances for hail as well. But you do have a tornado threat of 2% and 5% right where all those strong winds will be for today. So your city's at risk for tornadoes for today is Buffalo, New York, Rochester, New York, Syracuse, New York, Erie, Pennsylvania, and Cheektowaga, New York. 
as well as your 2%, Detroit, Michigan, Indianapolis, Indiana, Columbus, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, and Toledo, Ohio. Now you do have storms still going over Michigan all morning long, but as you get through this afternoon, this cold front starts to come down with these very warm temperatures. You get some very strong storms coming through eastern Indiana, and it will travel through western Ohio as well. A very strong group of storms, and they are getting sheer on them. And that purple right there is indicative of some chances for some large hail as these storms pass by. So as you look at 2 p.m., you can see there's not getting a lot of shear, but once you go to 3 and 4 p.m., it grows a lot of shear on these storms as it passes by Indiana and Ohio all evening long. Just a nasty group, and it is some long-lived cells. Chance for a tornado. As well as these cells that's passing by the intercoastal northeast, mostly upstate New York, you're not getting a lot of shear at first, but as they pass by this evening, it starts growing to chances for a shear on some of these cells as it passes by upstate New York, then it dies back down. So definitely from about 3 to 5 p.m., you start getting a strong cell passing through New York, upstate New York, as it passes by. So there's a chance for a tornado or two out of these cells as it passes by all evening. It's mostly going to be a wind threat just like yesterday. Now, as you go through the day with higher resolution rapid refresh, you can see the winds that's coming with the system. It's going to go all the way from Michigan, all the way to the intercoastal northeast with 40s and 50s, even get up into the 60s for these cells for western New York. Then once you hit 3 p.m., you start getting some more winds going through Ohio, 50s and 60s, and then it carries into Pennsylvania late tonight. I'm showing you all going to have storms late tonight into the early morning hours, just like they had last night as well as for tomorrow. And you can see what your lightning strikes from high resolution rapid refresh. The lightning strikes is about normal for regular storms. But once you go into this afternoon, they start sparking up a lot more lightning for eastern Indiana, northern Ohio, as it goes through all evening long. Just not going to give you all no rest. You're going to be hearing all this thunderstorms all the way until late tonight. Mostly eastern Indiana and northern Ohio. But when you check your elicity tracks, which is your wind direction change with height, and you can see that mostly with high resolution rapid refresh, southeast Michigan and some for northern Ohio, you get some long lived cells, not super severe, but it could be a chance for a tornado. As well as those cells that pass through western New York later this evening, there is a chance for long lived cells. Not a big chance for tornadoes, but there is a chance. Now for tomorrow, you're going to have thunderstorms in all this area again and your severe weather in the northeast. And your severe weather, big impact, a slight risk is for winds. You have a chance for hail as well, but you do have a chance for tornadoes. A 2% chance right here for northern New Jersey and the edge of the New England states. So your chances for tornadoes for tomorrow, for Monday, is New York, New York, Boston, Massachusetts, Newark, New Jersey, Jersey City, New Jersey, and Yonkers, New York. And you can see as you look for the northeast for today that you do get them storms passing through New York all day long. They will go towards Vermont, New Hampshire, some of Maine. Really strong mostly for the edge of Pennsylvania and New York. And then they mild down. When that cold front comes in a little closer for tomorrow, then y'all going to have that severe weather event that's going to be a little bit worse in your chances for tornadoes. So as you go overnight into the early morning hours, you're going to be seeing all these storms pass by all night long. And then in the early morning hours, then it's going to turn a little better severe as that cold front comes closer. You start getting some nasty cells going through Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire. It even comes down to Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Southern Pennsylvania, Long Island. Everybody gets in on these storms as it goes all night long. Now you are in a tornado threat for tomorrow, but if you look at the shear value, you can see mostly is going to be a damaging wind event as that passes by. But for a moment, it does get a strong sell right around 2 p.m. for tomorrow. So that is your best chance right around Connecticut and Massachusetts to try and get a long-lived cell that passes through, but it don't last long. It bursts up and goes right back on the weekend, but mostly it's looking like a wind event for tomorrow as well. Now, high resolution wrap refresh is showing all the way to 8 o'clock tonight, and you're going to have 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts, even some of them getting into 60 as it passes by this evening. But for tomorrow, this is where it starts going towards the coast. As that cold front pushes down, you start getting worse winds right along New Jersey, Long Island, 
a little bit of Maryland and Delaware, even Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont. Y'all get a little chance for high winds. And this is getting up into the 70s and 80s. And you can also see this with the lightning strikes from the higher resolution rapid refresh. That is not super severe all night long tonight, but you will have some lightning strikes in these storms as they pass by but for tomorrow is the severity of the lightning everything gets a little more condensed a lot more heat and now you got it for new jersey pennsylvania connecticut massachusetts a little bit of maine as these storms pass by with a lot of lightning strikes in them now when you look at helicity values for the northeast as you go through tomorrow you can see it does pick up mostly for connecticut massachusetts vermont new hampshire a little bit of rhode island and it gets weaker as it goes south for your chances for tornadoes. Now this isn't bringing a lot of rainfall, but it will start adding up as you go through today into tomorrow morning. You see it starts getting heavier for Western Pennsylvania, Western New York, according to National Weather Service. Then as you go through Tuesday, it's gonna rinse and repeat again. More precipitation coming to the Southwest for your monsoon. And it's gonna start building up for the Southern half of the Ohio Valley. And as we keep going, it's gonna build up even more for the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. But so far the heaviest is Western Pennsylvania, Western New York with a chance for one to two inches of rainfall. Then as you go Monday into Tuesday, then it starts getting heavier for Central to Southern Indiana, Illinois, Southern Ohio, Eastern Kentucky, as well as West Virginia. Chances for one to two inches of rainfall coming y'all way, as well as Southern Maryland and Southern Delaware. So for today, you in the marginal and all this green in these areas of slight risk for flash flooding. And this is for today. And this is going to continue for days. As we go on through tomorrow, another big area of slight risk for the southwest, as well as that next system that starts moving its way towards the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. And you can see how you got all this slight risk for flash flooding for tomorrow. As you go into Tuesday. Another big area of slight risk for flash flooding for the southwest as well as Ohio Valley. A lot of flash flooding. As you go into Wednesday, more pockets of slight risk. That's because you're already wet and any precipitation would just put you right back into flash flooding. And as you go into Thursday, more chances for flash flooding. So you really just have a whole week of flash flooding coming y'all way because rainfall already soaking this ground any precipitation will put it right back in that flash flooding stage and you're automatically going straight to the slight risk not even the marginal just flash flooding so i just want to give you all an update on the severe weather let you know what is coming and what is still to come it's just so you can prepare a little bit because it is starting to show a big long list of flash flooding for the next five to seven days so please prepare it's not just for today it's not just for tomorrow these storms are going to continue coming but thank you so much for visiting my channel today. Hope each one of you have a very blessed Sunday. God bless every single one of you. And without all this depressing information of these hot temperatures, these thunderstorms coming, the rain coming to the areas that really the ones that need it are not getting it. But at the same time, let's bring a little bit of happiness to this story, okay? God bless you all. Psalm 146. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth, and that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he, that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord.
Amen. <laughs> God bless you all today. Have a very blessed Sunday out there. Be careful. Be safe with these storms. Thank you again for visiting my channel today. And all power. <laughs> all glory does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob, our Father, and to all generations. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great day, everybody.